Right, hey, we're back. Um, I'm amazed at the interest um, you guys showed over the old um, formula. So I have a turbo kit for this, which I'll go and grab in a minute and give you a look. Um, it was going to go into another car, but I do like the idea of having the turbo SS looking six cylinder, right? So um, the boys have gone through this morning and chucked a column in this thing for me. So we now have a key, okay? As you can see, I didn't give you as much of a look at it last time, but this thing is rough. I do have parts to replace. It's not rusted though, it's just rough. You know, like just every piece needs to be replaced nearly, but I think it's worthwhile. Everyone seems to be pretty interested in it. A few broken windows and, you know, get rid of that tow bar, tail lights. You know, it's got a little bit of a mark here, but um, all in all, it's not too bad. I'll have to pull front and rear screens out and make sure there's no rust in around there. Um, should be plenty of spiders, which is always exciting. Um, yeah, so just gonna go through. Everything looks to be here. It looks like it was just parked up at some stage, perhaps ran out of registration. And yeah, so I'm gonna go and get a battery and we will see how it goes to fire up. So what I'm gonna do in this video, okay, is we're gonna get this thing running, okay? It's sort of locked in the yard here, so I can probably drive it up and down here a little bit, see if the clutch works. But um, there's a car show coming up. I'll put up the poster for the car show here now. Okay, so you can see it's um, on this weekend. It's just a local car show, just a local Nanango car show. It's a country car show, so there's probably got 30 or 40 odd cars there. It looks like there's a small swap meet. Um, I'm probably gonna do a live while I'm up there. I'll do it at, say, 10.30, okay? So 10.30 Sunday, um, I'll do a live. We'll go for a walk around, have a look at the swap meet, perhaps, have a look at a few of the cars that are there, but it'll be good. Take the Jag and take the SS. Neither are show cars. Neither are ready to go to shows, but we'll get them out. I'm keen to have a drive of both of them. And yeah, we'll just have a bit of a day. So yeah, I hope you can join me in the live. Okay, so 10.30 Sunday. Okay, and yeah, all right. I'm gonna um, go and get a battery, get a battery in this. We'll see if we can fire her up. Then I'll show you where we're at with the Jag on this video and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, battery's in. Let's see what she's gonna do. First thing seems good, it turns over. Um, I'm not too sure about fuel and stuff now, so I will organize some fuel and see what else she's gonna do. We'll get there though, we'll get her running. Righto, fuel's in the tank, um, ignition's in, battery's in, turns over. So we're gonna check now to see if the fuel pump is actually working. Okay, so we'll do that by, the captain's gonna jump under the back. Okay, I'll turn the ignition, Go. you ready? Well, ignition on. Turn it off and then on again. Off and on. Okay, he's belting the fuel tank at the moment to see if he can get the fuel pump to start working because sometimes when they sit or start to fail, if you give them a belt, you can get your way home. Go again. Yep, on and off a few times. No good? Nothing? No. All right, rightio. Fuel pump's dead. Okay, so what I'm gonna do just for curiosity's sake is I found one of the little young Mia's little bottles here somewhere. I'm gonna stick some fuel in it. We're gonna squirt a bit of fuel into the throttle body, see if it'll fire. And then we're gonna get old Captain Carl over here to pull another tank out so we can get a pump because we've got another couple of cars as you can sort of see. So, all right, um, I'll fill up this bottle, we'll fire her, and then Carl will start to pull out a tank now and we'll hopefully get this thing going. Okay, so this is the turbo kit for the VN. It's actually quite well made. I, I found it on um, Facebook for like 350 or 400 bucks. It's actually not too bad. Um, couldn't tell you what size the turbo is. It was just a lucky dip. It was extremely cheap, but it seems to be quite well made. We'll have to put a flex joint in here somewhere, otherwise you'll crack out. But um, yeah, it's nice that it's all chrome, but I think we'll have to heat wrap it anyway so we don't burn everything. But it will look quite nice in there. We'll be able to really make something nice out of it. So, 
that's probably our direction I'd say we'll get her going and we will um yeah get that turbo on it it should be mad what do you reckon the turbo manual VN formula that she's going to be a beast but yeah we'll um it'll probably be after the car show because we've got to get these other two done before we get back to that um yeah all right we'll um have a bit more of a look at it now and go from there just one second righto so the throttle bottle be, can be used like a carby. I mean, an old carby, you can squirt fuel in it and it'll start the car if the fuel pump's rooted. With the throttle body, all you gotta do is just get it past there and the engine will suck the fuel in like it was a carby. So, I'll just show you here. Letho's about to, or he just did. He just, um, you can see the fuel's coming out of the throttle body there. Nothing so far. No. Okay, give us that fuel and I'll give it a bit more of a squirt in there. Give us the, yep. Alright. Okay, so open the throttle up. Jump in, oh man, and press the throttle. Alright, so you get the throttle open, give it a good old squeeze in there. Should have been dry a long time. Alright, next shut the throttles. Yep, okay, so that'll keep the fuel in there. Okay, hit the key, dude. We got nothing. We're gonna have to go further with it, I suppose. Okay, now it's a case of check for spark. It looks like the fuel's not gonna just fix it. Um, yeah, it's just how it goes with some of these cars that you get, you just don't know. So we'll have to check for spark. If it doesn't spark, crank angle sensor, coil packs, all that sort of stuff. Um, we are gonna have to put a fuel tank in it regardless. So Carl's over there sorting that out now, getting a tank out. Um, it's gonna be a bit more of a work in progress. Okay, but. I'll show you the Jag now, okay, I'll show you what we're going to get done to it, and then we can get started on this um, car show process for the weekend, so, alright, if we make any more progress on this today, I'll include that in this video, but we'll see how we go, because at this point, it's a bit more in depth, but anyway, we had a go, you never know. Well, right, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that that thing didn't start, but um, we will get it running, Letho's just going to get some um, coil packs and a spark plug and that to see if she sparks, and and go from there but it's just one of those things when the cars sit around for a long time you just wouldn't know what's wrong with them but all right here we go with the jag all right here's our jag series one xj6 we've seen it all before okay so it runs well it needs leads sorted out i can't get the bonnet open because those air cleaners okay i'm gonna have to put the tanks back in and the rear bar on and basically just go through and give it a tidy up like she's never going to be a show car like i said but um, it is fairly tidy. Some switches in here, put the console back together and give her a clean up. But I do think it will be a, quite a nice addition to the car show. So, yeah, and it'll be good to get her out for a run too. Take you guys for a ride. Yeah, a bit of excitement in our life. Huh? Um, at the car show, there is a, um, a Euro class. So, we'll enter this in that and see how we go. So, um, yeah. Car show, weekend, 10.30, live. Um, keep telling me what you got. Like, I really do enjoy hearing about the cars. And the VSs, I just cannot believe how many people are doing up VSs. I'll have to get one. I feel like I'm not part of the crew. Oh, I might put this bonnet here too. What do you reckon of me bonnet? I got this made a while back for another VN. But, um, yeah, it's like an LT1 bonnet instead of a reverse cow. We might even, um, when we paint the, um, the formula, put the bonnet on. What do you guys reckon of the bonnet? Let me know. To run the bonnet or not to run the bonnet, that is the question. But anyway, all right, I'll, um, yeah, so for the next couple of days, I'll do daily updates, okay, on, for the car show, okay, and we'll, yeah, we'll work our way to the car show, we'll go to the car show with the SS and the Jag, we'll try and pull out a trophy. See how we go. Probably won't, because they're both pieces of shit, but see how we go. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for your support, and um, yeah, we're getting very close to that thousand subscribers at the moment. We're gaining about a hundred a day. You guys are doing well. All right, thanks for the support. See you.